So for all the chaps on uh, who are watching this as a VOD, <clears throat> hey folks, this is Kalani. We're going to work through the introduction experience for Shadowlands, which was just enabled on the alpha. So hopefully that doesn't make it too weird as being a VOD. Uh, Bolvar has recovered and believes he knows where the Banshee has taken those she abducted. I guess we'll do the, uh, the action bars real quick. Oh, we can do the action bars while they're talking. <clears throat> People aren't very happy, shockingly. These bars sorted out. <laughs> I think. Skyfire J is testing you. Skyfire J is testing me. Mm -hmm. Well, I will look at that in just a moment. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need any of those. There we go. Oh, why is Skyfire J? Oh, an Adara wave. There you go. There mm -hmm. you go. Uh, <laughs> I think the size difference is most telling. Did you see my hand? Yeah, yours? I guess I was closer to the camera. Yeah. <clears throat> so, by the way, from like, from what it looks like, something happens when Sylvanas comes here. I think. We'll see a lot more than just this intro. I think this might be the second part. Through the shattered sky. Because from the story, Anduin is missing and Jaina is missing. So I guess they got dragged through when Sylvanas broke the helm, which means they must have been an ice crown. Complete the ritual at the frozen throne to open the rift into the moor. And, you know, we've got, we've got the broken helm of domination here, which is super cool. During my vigil upon the frozen throne, I caught fleeting glimpses into the realms of death. Among them, I saw a place of inescapable darkness, which we know is definitely the moor. Place the shards of domination around the circle of runes, then the ritual can begin. And Phileth, with another gifted sub, thank you very much. Oh, we're not in the we're not in the group. Let's fix that. Are you on the second part? No, you're on the first shard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll wait for you then for the second one. See if that that should hopefully give you yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> do you want to do? I can't remember where the last one is. I think the last one's over here. I'll wait for Oops. you. Oh, hitting escape. Got rid of it. Okay, I'll do this one then. You want to wait for the, the next one and take the warlock portal? Make it a bit faster. I wonder if that was intentional. Maybe. Being able to cancel it. Yeah. Because you, you got stuck with it last time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to place the last one? The Knights of the Ebon Blade will be joining us in the moor. I'm going to try break through. There is no other course. Death comes to claim Azeroth. It falls to you to defend her. It looks pretty cool. The, uh... This weapon? The, yeah, the weapon doesn't quite sit ideally. But, um... Right, let's drag everybody through. You ready? High Lord Darian Mograine's coming with us. So is everybody else. Your courage will be remembered, champion. This is really anticlimactic without any game sound. Yeah, I imagine having sound would be amazing, actually. And uh, all of the voiceovers, which mm -hmm. hopefully will be in before this goes live. Yeah, I imagine... I imagine there are also going to be cinematics in here at different points, which will probably uh, make it a lot more exciting. 
Not the most ideal of landings, but I suppose we had no choice. No sign of Taronda. Oh, she'll have run off, no doubt. Yeah. She jumped in before everyone else. Really? Yeah. Oh, I wonder, wonder if she's uh, further down the line then. Or if she, because she jumps in first, maybe she's been here for longer. Which is, you know, time works in strange and mysterious ways when, um, when you're in the Shadowlands. So, slay forces and a rally death knights. I swear... Is there, is there music right now or not? Or is it just really no, low? No, it's, it's like ambient background noise. Oh, like that. It's like whispers scary. when you die. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there haven't. Which is pretty creepy by itself, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's really been any music. I guess, I guess sound and music is one of the last things they want to add to the alpha. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <clears throat> you know which realm is good for alliance race? That will depend on whether you're playing on EU or NA. Could you read the quest logs, please? Sure, sure. There's another quest to pick up. Ruiner's End. One of the larger fiends has several of our knights engaged. Hurry to their end, lest we lose more of our dwindling forces. But go. It is too late for me. Oh, he does die. Unfortunate. Or she. So that's the Ruiner. Oh, that one right there. May as well kill him while we're here, right? But that's not. Mm -hmm. That's not the quest mark. Back to the river of souls with you. Yeah, so we jumped down with the um, with the knights, and uh, like it seems like a couple key NPCs, but mainly just the knights. <clears throat> but again, we'll we'll come across Anduin and Jaina eventually, because they got sucked down a little earlier. Uh, EU Silvermoon is quite ally dominant. Wasn't wasn't there an Illidan on EU that was a uh, pretty high pop for Alliance? I'm not too sure. Razor X, thank you for the follow. And uh, Mick Mint, three minutes ago, thank you for the follow as well. Sorry for missing you. Just the ruiners across the bridge, yeah. Fractured blade. We've been in this place mere moments, and already our forces are depleted. Will have to do. Take this horn. It can be used to call upon the remaining Ebon Blade forces to rally against your foes. Get an extra action button. All Ebon Blade reinforcements. Fantastic. Our enemy is relentless, but we'll continue to drive them back. Stay vigilant. You should show off the river. Oh, the river? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the Magister, too. Don't know who that is. Probably someone very important. A little ghostly. And then, like, it flows all the way through. This area looks crazy. Fantastic. We didn't look at the map either, actually. Mm -hmm. So this is the Maw, and this is the River of Souls, which goes to Torghast. Mm. And that's Torghast. Yeah. The skybox. And then the Skybox, too, yeah. Mm -hmm. With Ice Crown peeking through, right? Crazy. I, I love what they've done with Skyboxes so far in Shadowlands. They really, really use them to, like, their max potential. I think, anyway. I think it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm, absolutely. <clears throat> is this Shadowlands? Yeah, this is the Shadowlands intro experience. Or at least at least part of it. I don't think this is, this is all of it, because, uh, you know, you kind of get thrown in here and things have already happened, so... I think there's going to be a few more pieces to this, to this little puzzle. But so far, we know that Anduin and Jaina have been lost to the Moor. They got sucked down when Sylvanas broke the Helm of Domination. Uh, and we're, we just hopped down and we're, we're going to try find them, try rescue them and see if there's a way out of here. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. 
You forgot about us starting? Oh, well, hi, Shohanna. Glad you could catch us. It's not too bad. Only a little late. You missed all the uh, the crazy subs. You may have noticed the the sub got like destroyed <laughs> destroyed the sub goal again today. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know why you guys have been spoiling me today. I don't know why. Let's pull them together, I guess. Lexi Bear, thank you for the follow, and Puya, thank you for the follow as well. Oh, I think I missed Rulik and Resist Darium too. Thank you for the follows, guys. Sorry for missing you. I'm not gonna get Chaos Bolt off on that, am I? Nope. <laughs> oh, the only bad thing about Chaos Bolts. <laughs> you left for 25 minutes and I got 50 higher. Yeah, yeah. People have been crazy today. Oh, sorry, forgot to read. It appears we've escaped our enemy's notice for the moment. We should take the opportunity to scout the nearby area for signs of our allies. We'll draw less attention alone. The Ebon Blade will hold back, awaiting my signal. Let's see what awaits us in this hellscape. Some uh, crazy creatures. Starting to see elites. Hungering death. The uh, death elementals down here. Crazy. And... Uh, Serath the Gluttonous over there in the distance. Definitely doesn't look... Uh, oh, oh my. Also the Kyrian, uh, the more sworn Kyrians too down here. Which apparently, according to like our storyline in Bastion, is a bit strange. People didn't really expect that. Or at least the Kyrians didn't expect that. Frost magic. Hi. <laughs> Who could it be? Frost magic. Yeah. Don't these uh, souls look like they're frozen too? What's happening? What's happening with all the souls that are supposed to go to This stuff? Mm-hmm. Those are all souls. Yeah. Like some of them are like leaking out, right? Just mm -hmm. little wispies there. But it does look like a frozen... Frozen... So who came here and froze everybody? Right. I mean, we don't... Hmm. We don't know if that's her as well. <laughs> but definitely, uh, we know that something's wrong here, right? All of these souls are not supposed to come to the moor. More of Lady Proudmoor's handiwork. <laughs> you broke it! <laughs> I wasn't able to break it yesterday. No, you're gonna get me killed. <laughs> I auto attack that's, too. That's really funny. Oh, I can blind him. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> oh, I can't vanish like you can. It's fine. Let's just fear it. Let's just fear it. I blinded him for you. Well, let's let's continue on and hopefully he deagros. <laughs> they said don't poke the sheep. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Troll Dara, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, what is your and Nadara's favorite things to do, uh, favorite things so far about Shadowlands and the Alpha? Um, I know personally for me, I'm really excited about gear just being gear again, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We don't, we don't have random factors, we don't have Titan Forging or War Forging. It's Lady Proudmoor with her Blizzard Typhoon. Looks like we secured the Lord Admiral. But, uh, you know, no corruptions. No random factors, no titan forging, no war forging. You get a piece of gear, it is going to be that piece of gear. You can make a, uh, a best in slot list again. I'm really happy about that. And I'm really happy about all the leveling changes. I think that's going to be amazing. And just new player experience changes in general. You didn't. Which one? You didn't read the quest. Oh. We cannot let the world fall. Right, right, right. Here we go. What? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you? Did you not? Go ahead. Okay. It's a relief to see friendly faces again, but we have little time for pleasantries. Thrall is wounded, and we are being hunted by the denizens of this realm. We must seek shelter at once. Come, I believe I know of a place. So, because Jaina's, like, she got dragged down first, it seems like she's been here for a while. Did you accept? Yeah. I did way after you, though, so. 
Wait, did you kill the six Kyrian yet? Oh, no. Mm -mm, no. They're still doing their RP. Oh, weird. Because I didn't... Oh, I did accept it. All mm -hmm. right, never yeah, mind. you accepted yeah, yeah. it before me. I'm here now. Why are the NPCs purple? Good question. A long road lies before us. I have no idea. They don't have a buff or a debuff or anything. Strange. I mean, I don't. I'm not purple either. Uh, I think they all just got teleported. It might, it might just be a bug. It might be a bug. It looked like they all just tried to get teleported. So, might be like residual. Yeah, there you go. Getting overrun. Getting us out of here. I haven't finished the quest yet, though. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, she might be on a loop. She might, she might be on a bit of a broken loop. There you go. There we go. That was an immediate teleport, though. I left some mirror images behind. The illusion won't hold for long. Hurry. Those images will keep our foes distracted for a time, but they will not give up their pursuit so easily. We must make haste. There's a cave not far from here. If, oops. If we hurry, we can seek refuge. Those fiends will give chase if they spot us. Be prepared for a fight. Which, you know, obviously they're going to spot us. There's a cave just around the bend. Happily, you know, walking towards a bunch of monsters. Hopefully they don't spot us. <laughs> uh, I think, strangely, they might have seen us. There goes our luck. What would you, ask? you can tell she's a, she's a mage and not a rogue, eh? <laughs> one job, Kalani, one job. Yeah, I, I, I do apologize. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we've been spotted a couple times already. What did Thrall mean by slip past them again? You've escaped before. Indeed. Broken free countless times, only to end up back in a cage. So, we don't know, like, in the story, how long it took us to follow them down. But it sounds like they've been down here for, like, a long time for, from their perspective. And we know from uh, some dev little tidbits and talks that time does move very strangely in the Shadowlands. We should stick to... Did I leave you behind? Come on, Jaina. We can do <laughs> I this. I left her behind, too. We can do this, Jaina. Another ambush! Not oh, crikey. You could stay in one place for me. That would be wonderful. Four quests, you're already 25% into 15. That's very true. Very true. Uh, I Yeah, for the most part, this intro should come with Shadowlands, right? I keep leaving her behind. And the mobs just spawned again? Yeah, it's probably me. Your set? Hmm. Yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't, you know, we, we can stay together. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. We're going to get pre-patch, obviously, which might explain some of these bits and bobs. You know, maybe maybe Jaina and uh, Anduin get taken away in the pre-patch event. And then we'll have to wait for, you know, the launch of Shadowlands. So some time will actually pass there. That would make a bit more sense. But sadly, with, uh, with the testing environment, we don't, we don't get too much context. Excuse me, right? Ian said timey-wimey stuff, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But we, again, we don't get much context for the start of this, so we're not too sure what's happening, but we're just, we, you know, we got the, the actual intro experience. Or at least part of it. We get to see where, uh, how we get out of the moor. And, and where we go from there. Because remember that our leveling experience in Shadowlands is actually fixed for the first time that we go through. So the first time you go through, you'll go through the intro experience, which is obviously in the Maw. That's where we are now. Then we'll head over to Ouroboros, and then we do leveling zones in order as well. So your leveling order is Bastion, 
then Maldraxxus, then Ardenweald, and then Revendrath. And then whenever you level up alts, you can pick and choose where you want to go. Yeah. I think we might both need to stay with them. Maybe. Can you can you come back up to my Jaina? My Jaina's going down. I actually don't see your Jaina. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's the Kirin Tor mage. Yeah, she got stuck. Yeah, she got stuck for me. So alright. I mean we know how to fix it, right? Mm hmm Let's go do it again. And should report that as a bug. Yeah. Another yeah. Another thing, by the way, is that we can't uh, we can't mount at all down here. Hopefully that's temporary. I don't really see any reason why you wouldn't be allowed to mount down here. It's not like we're inside. The boy king sits at the master's table. Seems like this was not Nazarth at all. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. So let's, uh, I guess, eat when when you hand it in, right? Bug report? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm typing. Let's do this again. Moto Clash, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Wagon should have a racial speed buff. I mean, I do have a racial speed buff, right? But does it count as a mount? Dark Flight? I wonder if I... Can you use that in places where you can't mount? I don't play Alliance. <laughs> can you tell? Megan DT Roberts, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Running wild is the mounted ground speed. Dark flight is a sprint. Ah, okay, cool. So, should be able to use it, right? Looks like it was a good thing picking Worgen. <laughs> it's kind of infernal here again. Get some more infernals down with that new Destro talent. Which is very fun to play with. There you go. Look at all those infernals. Triple, triple? Yeah, triple infernal. Just for my talent. Mm. Hey, always watch your videos on YouTube. Keep up the work, mate. Oh, thank you for the kind words. We'll try. We'll try. And thank you for sticking with us. Well, you've had a long day. Think it's time for you to head out for today. Have a good one, all my friends. Thanks for joining us again, Trey. Hope to see you again soon. Got to kill the big boss again, obviously. Uh, maybe it's like when we're outside Nazarth, we can't mount, but when we are, we can. Uh, you can mount when you're inside him. Maybe. I just think they didn't want you to mount in the moor to make it seem a little more dangerous, which I think is... Uh... Hmm. We kind of kind of see what they want to go with it. It's like why you couldn't mount when you were running in the uh, uh, Wallow to Draenor intro section, you know? But uh, I don't know if it makes too much sense here. It also slows you down quite considerably, <laughs> which is not ideal. But that's fine, you know? Man, you just want to play Shadowlands? I, I am so excited for this expansion to launch. I think this is going to be one of the best expansions we've seen in a long time. Like, they just, they just seem to be doing so much right. Are you ever going to return to Hunter? Uh, Hunter is actually on my list of four characters that I'm going to play in Shadowlands, so you'll get to see some Hunter for sure. Oh. See, they've, they've obviously been, been down here a while, beginning to lose hope I'd see anyone from our world again. Let me let me do a bug report for the, uh, for the top. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> Getting a bit worried there. Uh, Jenna got stuck at the top of the tunnel after killing the mini boss, requiring me to restart the quest. Rest here while you can. I will tell you what I know. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. A moment's respite. Anduin insisted that our allies would come for us. I confess I had begun to doubt him. I'm sure you have many questions. I'll do what I can to provide answers, but I'm afraid even after... What has it been? Weeks? Longer? Time loses all meaning in a place of such darkness. Forgive me. I'll tell... Let me tell you what little I can. Tell me about this place. We all have our ghosts. Where to begin? They call this place the Moor. From what I gather, it serves as a prison for the most foul, irredeemable souls that ever existed. Something has changed. We have seen pure, noble souls held captive here as well. They cry out in torment. Indeed, and I'd wager that Sylvanus Windrunner is somehow behind it. It seems she has made a powerful ally. The shades here whisper of someone they call the Jailer. Lots of... Lots of creepy souls, and obviously Sylvanas there. Can't really see because of the effect, but Sylvanas making a deal with the Jailer. We cannot How could she? The Jailer rules this realm. We don't know much about him, but he seems to have a special interest in us. He has personally overseen our treatment here. We have endured countless torments. At times it felt as if we were being tested, though for what purpose? I cannot guess. Whatever this Jailer and the Banshee are planning, it won't end well for any of us. And then we have the uh, the Morsorn, Morsworn Kyrian and Bane Bloodhoof. Guess Bane's in trouble. Bane's in trouble. What about the others who were taken? The others are being held captive. I have tried to reach them in many attempts to, or my many attempts to break free. What I have not found is a way to leave this place. The Moor feels inescapable some of the souls here have wandered this realm for untold ages perhaps one of them knows of a way out i've only been able to speak to a few souls most haven't been here long those that have were either aggressive or broken they manifest as malevolent shades that wander the dark reaches of this place if there was some to it some way to extract their secrets it might tell us what we need to know Good job we have the death knights then right the ebon blade have always or have ways to compel the dead to speak i suggest we have words with them I will do what I can. a moment's respite i need time to recover after that battle thrall could use rest too while we rest perhaps you and mograin can seek answers let's do it mograin if these souls have information we need we will take it from them quite forward or you should have nadara do jaina's voice that'd be a good idea <laughs> yeah uh, if and you they... take the, like, one voice line that Thrall has. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I guess that's probably the point here. They just want to wanna hear you more and me less. <gasps> oh. uh, even after being shattered by the Banshee, the Helm Fragment given to you by Bolvar holds the power of domination. With it, we should be able to take control of the spirits long enough to find out what they know. They will need to be sufficiently weakened before we can break them. I'm confident you're more than capable of that task. Let's go break some spirits. Also, with the dragon thing on the left, uh, it's just a big rat, I think. Feasting Soul Eater. I think it's supposed to be like a giant moor rat. And it's dead. So this was probably its home, its hovel, its hole. And uh, we killed it. <laughs> we stole its cave. What classes are you going to play, Kalani? I think I'm going to play... Warlock, Demon Hunter, Hunter, and Paladin. Them, that's my four. Is it just me for the sound is cutting when Kalani doesn't talk? Really? Uh, I'm, I don't know, man. The, uh, the alpha, like, some parts are voiced, some parts aren't, and, in fact, a lot of it isn't, and, you know, we don't even have that much music to go with it, too, so. Is the game sound pretty, pretty quiet on your end? I can bump the game sound up a teeny bit. You let me know how it goes. It's just, um, honestly, it's just spell sounds right now. And the odd scream here and there. 
Uh, okay, time to do some raiding. Good luck. Oh, thanks for joining us, Skyfire. Hope to see you again soon. Good luck in your raid. <laughs> Nadara, we need a hey, folks. This is Nadara. It's a couple requests. Yeah. <laughs> is that an anima? Is that an anima power? <laughs> Maybe. Hey, folks. This is Nadara. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I don't. I don't have your your deepness to uh -huh. be able to pull that off. I think that was. I think that was quite good, actually. Folks feels a little weird to say too. That's. Folks. I never use that word. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just don't pronounce the L and you'll be fine. Folks. Folks, yeah. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> yeah. Folks. Folks. Yeah. I think that was someone else's. <laughs> Might mm. steal it from them. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That's a really interesting point. I wonder if a dungeon queue is faster for Horde or Alliance. Are we just playing the wrong faction on the uh, on the alpha? How many people are on? <laughs> Not as many. Not as many. Yeah, there are more people in the starting zone, but less people like everywhere else. Interesting, interesting. Something to consider, though, I guess. <laughs> Experience, <laughs> yeah, folks. <laughs> the giggle made it for sure. There you go. There you go. You don't really hear game sound at all. Should be there. Teeny bit. There, there, again, there isn't any music. But uh, it, it should be there, just barely. Turn, do, turn it up a bit more. Yeah, let me know. Let me know how it goes. If things get too loud, let me know. Fingers crossed that beta happens with a live stream announcement on the 8th. Yeah. I, I fully expect uh, a beta announcement when we're moving into beta. And I actually expect a release date. Game sound is fine. Okay, okay. Useless. These cells are far too fragmented to provide us with anything. Wait. What is that? Speaking to the dead. Tormented amalgamation. Look over the ridge. There lies our quarry. No telling how many souls are writhing together within that amalgam. With any luck, one of them might be coherent enough to give us answers. Maybe, maybe this chap might just have the information we need. See, he's voiceovered. Out of out of everybody who is voiceovered, <laughs> right? It's it's not Jaina, it's not Thrall, it's not Darian. It's the tormented amalgamation. <laughs> Find enough mouths, and one of them is bound to speak. That's gross. Let's bring this thing back to the cave and find out what it knows. My instincts are correct. Whatever dark magic binds these souls together also keeps them more or less coherent. It will take time, but we will find out what this thing knows. My interrogation will require use of the helm, but rest assured I will return it in return it to your care. Let's bring this prize to the Lord Admiral. You're coming with me. Let's get down there. You thought about switching to Horde, but you've been allied for 15 years. Oh, well... You know, eventually, hopefully we'll be able to play together, maybe, but can't everyone get into beta? You, you still have to be invited for beta, yeah. It's still invite only, but hopefully when we move into beta, a lot more people will get invited, because um, we spent an hour in the queue for the new dungeon today. The, the dungeon that came out yesterday, right? And we didn't get a, we didn't get a full group. So more people in the alpha would definitely be nice. It seems your search was a success. Enough rest. There's much to be done. We've got to save our friends. Anduin has been kept in a place the Shades call the... Chair. Trema Tremaculum? Maybe? It's not far, but the way is perilous. I have tried more than once to free him from his captors, but the forces holding him are too great for me to handle alone. I'm counting on your presence to Control tip the scales. The Let's do it. Reach the upper Tremaculum. You ready? Are you gonna are you gonna do the Jaina voice? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a horde mainly, but you got your ally alt for law reasons mostly. There you go. 
you need to pre-purchase to join the beta. No, there's there's not really any way of increasing your chances of a random beta invite that I know of. Um, if you are a content creator or a, or a streamer, that kind of jazz, you know, stuff is set up to get you in earlier. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't know if there have been that many random invites for the alpha, which didn't, is... Didn't they say that they were placing, like, friends and family, and then long-standing subscribers, and then streamers and content creators? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, actually. So maybe if you've been subbed and your account is in good standing, yeah, maybe that would increase your chances. Because I, I do know, by the way, if you have a, um, if you have a black mark on your account, pretty sure that reduces your chances of getting in. So if you, you know if you got that ban for for botting in in TBC or whatever it may be, or uh, you know any black marks against your account that might uh, prevent you from getting in. Oh, no, Jaina voice, how disappointing. <laughs> uh, you have to say you are a part of Kalani Legion. Is, is, is that how it works? Is that how you get an invite? <clears throat> wonder if 12, year, 12 years is a, a long enough sub. It seems to maybe increase your, your chances. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. They don't, they're obviously not super forthcoming with, with how all of that works. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you do need to opt in for, for beta, though. Like, you do need to request it. Like, if you don't opt in, you won't, you won't get it, even if, you know, you have a shiny account and, and all that wonderful stuff. So if you're not opted in... You, uh, you know, you don't have any chance, really. You have mostly Belfs, but you do have some others. Implying that there are other playable races, right? <laughs> Maldor313, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Anduin. Oh, oh, it's Sylvanas. All that you fought for, all that you struggled to protect will be consumed by the Maw. So it seems like they're not even really trying to make her any form of grey anymore. She's just evil. <laughs> Sylvanas so has the Jailer's forces at her command. She could call them down to overwhelm us. It won't do Anduin any good if we're all captured. Let's hold off on engaging her until we know what she's after. A single Q cinematic, I would hope. Damn her! Anduin, are you alright? I will li- well, I will live. Messed that up. Good to see you. A just cause is always worth fighting. I knew in my heart the light wouldn't fail us. Your presence here is the proof. The afflictor's key. Sylvanas thinks us broken. She believes she has already won. We will show her how mistaken she is. First, I will need your help. The bonds that hold me are impossibly strong. We will need the key to free me of them. My imprisonment here has been overseen by a creature they call the afflictor. The key is likely in its possession. I've seen many souls brought here during my detention. The Jailer seems to want to break them, to twist them into his service, or worse. No soul deserves such a fate. The Morse one here hold the keys to their chains. Free as many as you can, and we'll get them all away from here. Let's do it. Operation Jailbreak. Anduin and all these little souls. One of the uh, one of the main problems right now seems to be that instead of just the bad souls going to the moor, like all of the souls are going to the moor, which obviously isn't ideal, because the souls also power the Shadowlands with their anima, and that's you know you'll you'll run into a bunch of issues with the lack of anima through the leveling zones, and it seems to all come back to the moor and and the jailer and Sylvanas's little plot. Let me open this one. This is pretty cool though. This is like sort of semi preparing you for Torghast, even though these are pretty pitiful traps. <laughs> uh, I think a bit of preference is given to previous testers, as you did uh, Wrath, Cata, Ward, and BFA beta testing. 
maybe you might just have a lucky account. You never know. I know things are different for, you know, a streamer, creator point of view. You got this one, yeah? Mm-hmm. Three, let's head up to the... There's a key here, if you didn't pick it up. Uh, I don't have a key from that guy. We haven't called on the Ebon Blade yet. We'll should probably do that for the big guy up there. Uh, any Sylvanus loyalists in chat? <laughs> Banned. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like... I, d I don't know. Is, is she just playing like 5D, 6D chess at, this chess at this point? Or is she literally just evil? You know? I don't, I don't know if there's an argument to be made that she's, she's for the greater good anymore. For the dark lady. There you go, Viridian Green. Enjoy your ban. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> 88D chess, right? She's a hero. I don't know what you're on about. Mm. Mm. I guess, I guess we'll see. Uh, hero banned. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's call the Ebon Blade. There you go. Get some extras in here. Oh, cranky. Who was that? Oh, that was a paladin. I thought, like, Lady Leandrin just charged through on her charger there, but nope. Just another player. Just, alright. Grab this chap's key. Free a couple more souls. That reign of chaos lasts pretty long. Oh, wait, what? I thought that was a cage to open. I, I already opened it. Oh, you, I'm blind, apparently. I gouged him and then I opened it, so ah. it happens. Just sneaking them out from under me? Mm hmm Right, let's go free Anduin. Back down this way, right? Oh. Thrall is now a survival hunter, right? What's he got? What's he got? He's got a... I mean, he's got an axe. Seems pretty orcish to me. And he's hurt, holding his arm. We'll fix him up. We'll fix him up. Don't know how committing genocide is for the greater good. Um, didn't you know? Um... The, yeah, Teldrassil had, um, uh, yeah, had, um, termites. Yep, yeah, that's it. Teldrassil had termites, you know. If, if Sylvanas hadn't burned the whole thing down, the termites would have eaten the entire world. It's, it's true. So how did you get so far ahead of me? Let's do that dark flight thing. Yeah, there we go. It was, yeah, that was it. Yeah. He had a crossbow yesterday. It's fine. He's just he's trying to figure himself out, you know. He lost Doomhammer. Just he's just trying to find a suitable weapon, all right? Leave the poor guy alone. <laughs> Let's free free Anduin. Sometimes we must fight oh. for what we believe. Hmm? The paladin was RP walking. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you find the key? We did. I'd almost forgotten the feeling of freedom. How long have these guys been down here? Now let us take the fight to these fiends. Hmm. I know I could trust you with this task, though we face insurmountable odds, we must try to do what is right. We should not linger here any longer. I believe Bane Bloodhoof is being held on the far side of the Soul River. We should gather our forces before seeking him out. I just hope Mograine was able to glean some information from the soul you captured. And she's got to teleport us back. Wonderful! No more walking. The elements abandoned Thrall. Did they still abandon Thrall? Like, did he not make up with them yet? There you go. Those wounds look serious, Thrall. Let me tend to them. Oh, thank you, Anduin. I don't know why Thrall sounds like that. <laughs> oh. Even Shattered, the Helm of Domination, possesses incredible power over the souls of the dead. Make it talk. Which again, you'll hear. The only, the only voiced over character.
So there is a way out. Tell us. Classic rival. Thank you for the follow. Well, we will, all right? We will. Gwenio, thank you for the follow as well. Sylvanas is the savior of Azeroth. Seems like we have some mixed opinions here in chat. <laughs> the cauldron he speaks of lies beyond the River of Souls. I believe Bane is being held captive there. That's convenient. I cannot say I enjoyed wielding the Helm of Domination. The magic it holds is unsettling to the dead. I gladly return it to your care. What would you ask? Our next step is clear. We must travel to Zovel's Cauldron, a frightful place I've heard spoken of in fanatical whispers. It's a forge of sorts that lies across the River of Souls. I've only been there a handful of times, but I have seen Bane held captive by the soldiers there. If fortune favours us, he'll still be nearby. Once he's safe, we can see about finding this waystone the Shade spoke of. Let's do it. What remains for the Ebon Blade will hold... Hold guard here. Signal us when you find this waystone. All right. Hopefully we'll remember to do that. Don't want to leave all the Death Knights behind. Ooh, your troubled thrall. What is it? Tyrande is out there, somewhere in this madness. We cannot leave her behind. Agreed, but we have no idea where she is. We will do our best to find her, but this waystone may be our only means of escape. If there's a way out of the moor, then there has to be a way back in. We will return for her. Jane is totally ready to just yep. <laughs> abandon Taranda. <laughs> She'll, what if Taranda like makes everybody down here just, you know, she's the evil boss now. She's oh. probably on floor like 60 of Torghast. Right, <laughs> yeah. She becomes a, a Torghast boss. <laughs> but I need to go cross the River of Souls. Feel like the word souls would make for a terrible drinking game in this expansion? Probably. <laughs> mm. It depends what your goal is, though. If your goal is to get smashed, it might be the perfect word, you know? Down a shot every time someone says souls, you'll be drunk in five minutes. Or two minutes, if you mean. Hey, buddy, love your videos. Oh, thank you for the kind words. Is this your first time catching the stream? Classic rival. We're ready. We're ready to cross the, the River of Souls. Carnifex lol, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Rogues are evil. Gnome rogues are insane and evil. There you go. Apparently you're evil. I hear something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crikey. <laughs> Your unworthy souls will feed the coming darkness. Oh, yikes. I hear you were beaten quite soundly by unworthy champions, witch. Good job, Thrall. Good job, Thrall. <laughs> oh, this... This is, like, the creepiest thing. Just... Just take a moment. Try read them as they go by. This... This is all sorts of messed up. There's this one, one specifically. There's a void dude passing by. Void dude. Had so much life. There's some night elves. All of these souls just draining into the mall when they're supposed to go through a proper... You know, they're supposed to go through Ouroboros and then get split into their appropriate zones so they can actually lead an afterlife, but they're just getting eaten by the Maw. And this this was Sylvanas' plan all along, right? All the death and destruction was to fuel this, this river of souls. Still waiting for it. Yeah, I haven't seen it. What if they, I wonder if they took it out. You know, I imagine not, but... Children are on that boat. There, it has to be here. 
I wonder I wonder if they actually took it out. I wonder if that was a bit too uh mm. a bit too yikes. Fire. Yeah. There's a fire. There it was. All of the night elves that burned in Teldrassil. All of the uh all of the Alliance and Horde that drowned when Najatar was opened up. Everybody who died in the battle for Azeroth. Everyone who died at Lordaeron. Plague or not. You know? The true They're all being man. all being funneled into the maw. The jailer has Bane. This is worse than we feared. He is. There he is. Where's Bane? Do you see Bane? I don't see Bane. Oh well. The jailer has him though. Q cinematic. Uh where we rescue Bane. Apparently, from right under from under the nose of the jailer, so I wonder how that's gonna work. But well, you know, we are we are missing a good chunk of what's gonna happen just, just through cinematics. But that makes me really excited because cinematics were uh, some of the best, you know, parts of of story. And we never get to see them. We never get to see them until uh, until it launches. But also really excited that we don't get that spoiled. <clears throat> Even as Bane's flesh mends, his spirit draws closer to death. I have seen dark magic like this before among the Shadow Moon clan. The Jailer's minions must have inflicted a similar malady upon Bane. The only cure for the Shadow Moon's curse was to find the object they used to poison the spirit and shatter it. The sorcerers of this realm wield ornamental daggers. That might be what we're looking for. We must find the one that they used on Bane. Quickly. A good axe. Yeah, because you threw yours at Hellia. Yeah. Good job. I was a damn fool for throwing my axe at that sea hag. Yep. We can't afford to lose focus. The battle ahead won't be easy. I'll need another weapon to help us fight to the Waystone. Looks like these soldiers have plenty of armament, so let's keep an eye out for what I can use. Alrighty. So, where have we been so far? We've only been, like, hanging around in this area of the moor, haven't we? We haven't really been that far. It's so like this entire area, mm -hmm. is that maybe maybe leading up to Torghast? This platform here? That's interesting. Uh, maybe. Because remember that Torghast is supposed to be a max level zone to posture check. Oh, scoot in here a little bit, eh? But what are you doing for the 550? You missed it. The 550 was the, the Alliance character. So we're going to... You know, level up that alliance character, get it up to speed, and we'll make an alliance character in Shadowlands uh, to make sure that we can play with all of the viewers and not just limit ourselves to NA Horde. It will be NA Alliance as well, and then, you know, later on down the line we might boot up uh, an EU account as well. We'll see. We'll see. The bigger question really is what's going to happen at 600, right? Because uh, we haven't prepared for that. We haven't planned for that. And by the looks of things, it's going to happen any day now. <laughs> oh, boy. Which I'm very excited for. Oh, the Nazoth oh, cinematic might be an exception, okay? That might be an exception. Even though it was pretty cool seeing us, you know, DBZ laser an old god. Uh... Yeah. What's up? I'm just looking over because I got the loot. Yeah. You got the wither blade? I just have to keep going until we both get it, I guess. I don't know if we share the credit for, for Thrall's weapons, actually. Mm -mm. Well, that's a bit annoying. But fine, I suppose. <clears throat> 600 is Nadar and Kalani 1v1 on the Demon Hunters, and the loser of each takes a shot. Uh, we're not doing that, <laughs> because we did that semi-recently, and I lost three times in a row. So... No! <laughs> <laughs> to put it bluntly, 407. <clears throat> He's smacking them with a crossbow. <laughs> That doesn't seem like a good use of a crossbow. We can only hope Bane's curse was inflicted by one of the sorcerers here, which it was. We were fortunate enough to find the sorcerer who poisoned Bane's spirit. I need your help breaking its link to the High Chieftain. 
Still need to find you a weapon, though, Thrall. God. Why would you have to throw your axe away, mate? Typical Thrall. Has he found an axe for you yet? No? Yep. Oh, suitable weapon. Oh, cool, we do share. Fantastic. This lacks the balance and craftsmanship of a good frost wolf axe. Then why would you throw it? But it will have to do. Let's get moving. Now that we have the dagger, it will take the combined will of all of us to sever the weapons link to the High Chieftain. Together, oh, right. We are Going too fast for you. Jaina, Anduin, and I must do our part to keep Bane's spirit grounded, so it will be up to you to deal with whatever force is unleashed when the blade is broken. Are you up to the task? Yeah, of know. course we are. He's still got a crossbow, though. Look at that. He's still got a crossbow. This is going to be really funny if he uses the crossbow to break the weapon. Let's see. Let's, yeah, oh my gosh. Look at him go. He's readying that crossbow. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> All right, let's break break the dagger. Yeah, go on. He actually doesn't have a crossbow for me. It's because you were getting the weapons. Oh, uh, okay. Boom. <laughs> uh, that probably would have looked maybe cool with an axe. They're all melee with a crossbow during... Oh, he did that during novel stream too. Typical thrall. Typical thrall. I know. I don't know what you're talking. That seemed to work out perfectly from my point of view. <laughs> uh, just take the shot then. Mm. We'll, we'll, we'll pass. We'll pass. Hey man, love your videos. PS, nice view farming with the kitty cat. Yeah. Yeah. He, he does his job pretty well, doesn't he? Just chilling there in the corner. Oh, yes, we saved you, Bane. Good job. Were it not for your efforts, I am certain my body and soul will be trapped in this forsaken place for eternity. I owe you my life, and I will fight my last breath to repay this debt. I wish we had more time to recover, but we need to move. Understood. Lead the way. That was a legendary crossbow. I think we all might be using crossbows the wrong way. I'll be honest with you. We must move quickly if we wish to find the waystone. The soul mentioned it overlooks the cauldron, which would put it somewhere upon the ridge of the other side. Unfortunately, this area is swarming with the enemy forces. We'd best avoid engaging them, lest we draw the jailer's attention. I can shield us from sight, but we all have to stay together. All right, let's go. Let's go. I spotted an obelisk of ancient stone upon the high ridge. It didn't seem important. The jailer's forces pay it little heed. What do you think it is? Oh, I guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out. Oh, look, two expansions in a row. We are saving Bane. Typical. Typical. Your cat's tail is long. That cat's tail? Is it longer than him? Uh, Maybe I don't not. know if it's longer than him. I haven't measured him recently, but I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe equal. 14, though, right? Mm hmm. 14 inches long, that tail. You ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. Control your power. Let's do this. Let's sneak through. Hopefully sneak through. <clears throat> Thrall throwing away his axe like he did his war chief responsibilities. Oof. Oof. <laughs> That's a big yank. Oh, Nangi Jala. N Nangi E Jala. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Oh, work is done. You catch the rest on VOD. Have fun. Cheers. Oh, thanks for joining us, the Thundering Horde. I'll catch you later. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I think we need to stay together together, by the way. Do you want to come back to mine? Like, for some reason? No? Mm -mm. She's just broken. What would you ask the daughter of the yeah, she just keeps saying stay close. <laughs> But now she's not moving forward. Hmm. All right, what if I go to yours? She moved she moved forward a little bit. It's just another another borked like escort section. Mm-hmm. Oh, there oh she look, goes. yours is moving yeah. forward. So what if I I moved forward a little bit. Hmm. See Oh there we go. Bizarre. Bizarre. We should report that as a bug. Yeah, he 
I guess you're not meant to stay in stealth because I Why? wasn't. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, mine just. Mine are running past. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll bring mine out to help. <laughs> I mean, I expect you may be supposed to stay in stealth for a little bit longer, but... I don't, it doesn't make any sense if your NPCs ran into the eye that can see, right? Yeah, but they didn't this time. The eye came to us. Oh. Like, no one was in did, the circle. Did she stop moving again? Yeah, she stopped moving. But she said, hold here, and then the eye came, and no one was in it, and the eye came, like, toward it's us, just, like it spotted it's, us. It's just perfect <laughs> strategy, really. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. So I don't know if you're meant to stay in stealth. Maybe, maybe not. Trodzia, Uncle Bungus, and Najoji, Najochi, something like that. Thank you for the follows. Welcome aboard. Good to have you. This is the intro quest. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Or at least, you know, part of it. We're working our way through the mall. We, uh, we got, or we, we broke into the mall, I guess, and we. Um, we found Jaina, we, we helped Jaina, we rescued Anduin, because he was being held captive. We, um, we also rescued Bane, because he was down here too. Uh, Taronda's down here somewhere as well. Uh, don't know if we'll see her. Hold here. Right. I'm just gonna pull. It seems to be hit and miss. Taliesin was able to stay installed throughout the whole, through all of it, but Sol got in the same place we did probably above interesting interesting thank you for the uh the information good yeah, to know i'll probably just report it because no one was in it i mean it seems seems strange for her to say hold here and then an eye you know just wanders through to you are you alliance yeah we are we're alliance for now <laughs> excuse me we were uh tinkering around with some alliance customization oh my gosh and, um, yeah, we decided just to play a Worgen and a Night Elf for this one. Change things up, because why not? Might have to make a Worgen, uh, on live with all of these, these changes to customization. So everyone was just chilling in the mall. So, we don't, we don't get a lot of the prelude to this, but it seems like when Sylvanas broke the Helm of Domination, Anduin, Jaina, and Bane got sucked into the moor alongside them. And they've been here for, like, according to them, a really long time. And they've been, like, tortured and held captive um, until we got here. And, you know, we did a little ritual with the Helm of Domination's shards, which is all broken up now. Ooh, the stone is responding to us. Ah, we're the special person again. We made it. If we can activate this waystone, we just might be able to escape this place. Anduin examines the obelisk intently. I've never seen markets like these before. I've studied Titan artifacts, but this appears to be made by a different hand. Hmm, who could it be? It doesn't respond to me. I think Jaina's right. The waystone is reacting to your presence. Perhaps you'll have better luck activating it. Stay on your guard. The Jaina's forces paid this no mind when it was dormant, but there's no telling what they'll do if that changes. When the Jailer realizes our plan, he'll send all his forces against us. You ready? You ready? I think the stone is gaining power. So wait, if we activate it, couldn't everybody else just follow us through it? Like, couldn't the Jailer's forces just follow us through it? Did we not think this through? No. <laughs> That's a good question. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Oh no. Oh dear. I wonder if we can die here, actually. I mean, I assume you can, but... Uh, do you want to put cookies down? Oh, there you go. I died. We'll stand together if hope is to survive. Hold your ground! Can I just stay dead? What happens if I release? Alright. I'm behind... I'm behind the Jailer's forces. Yep. Don't mind me, guys. Uh, just let squeeze through that. Don't mind me. Yeah, okay, I'll put down. I'll put down some some cookies for you. For us. I'll get another. I'll get another void walker out. Just while the uh, the mobs are dealing with 
all their stuff. Right, we're back. <laughs> From behind enemy lines. Typical. Jailer doing the worst villain mistakes, sending few guys at a time. Yeah, right? Right? He, I mean, he has an army here. Look at that. But they're, um, they're not charging in. They're not charging in. Lots of monsters. Even more monsters. You cannot stop what is to come. All that you see, all that you know, oh, will be undone. Because that's... Ooh. Again, I don't think we've ever been like properly cornered like this mm -hmm. before. Look around before you leave. Like for the for the mobs or just in general. <laughs> I guess you know if nobody's coming for us, we'll just chill here for a little bit. <laughs> That's a lot of mobs though. Oh, for the jailer. Oh, there he is. Do we just kill the jailer right here right now? Oh no! <laughs> I fell through a rock. Oh. Oh, interesting. We actually... Hmm. Can you... Can you try to put a portal down for me, please? <laughs> oh, you're actually out Don't of walk on the rock. Oh, I am. Hmm. I guess I'll just go up. How far away are you? Which way? You're down there. Yeah. Don't walk on the rocks on oh, the edge. Oh, the not, rocks are fake. They're not solid. <laughs> okay. Good to know. But, yeah. These dudes... These dudes want us to leave. Look at that. Oh, weird. Interesting. No one's here now for me. No one's here? Yeah, look it. Can you use the way gate? Mm-hmm. I hope, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's just let's just go through then. Yep. <laughs> oh. Can you I actually can't. Hmm. You I'll broke your quest. That, yeah. Interesting. So while doing this, don't run away. Like <laughs> Nadara went like down here into the lava pit and she can't finish the quest anymore. But we can finish the quest. We can go ahead. The waste stone appears to be fully charged. You reach out and touch its surface. Are you ready? Oof. Again, probably Q cinematic. You would hope, right? Kill him. Shows how strong the jailer is. I think he would have just probably... Uh, I should have poked him. I should have poked him. I wonder if he would even have fought back. And then we're in, we're in Oribos. Which, you know, that's it. We didn't get a quest, so it's not like we can hand in a quest and continue it from here. Uh, all of these protectors seem protective of this area. Seem to be uh, maybe confused that someone else just popped through. A couple of them doubled up. But I'm assuming at this point, you know, you get a quest to go maybe talk to, to Bolvar, maybe go see the Arbiter. We'll have to see, but that is where the introduction experience ends for now. So if you're watching this on the VOD, thanks for joining us. If you want to catch this live, like you would have been able to, you can join us at twitch.tv slash KalaniTV. I know we all have a blast over here. And, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. We'll have more alpha, alpha content coming. Don't worry about that, but thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.